I think it's crucial to understand that while the word rights taken away from us is probably not the best word or phrase, um, it's simply a chain of events that life has become very unstable for most people. In other words, you can't predict from part of the day to part of the day, minute to minute, whether your safety is going to continue or whether something is going to completely upend it. Uh, a simple phone call, a simple stop on the road by a law enforcement official, um, a simple visit to a doctor's office, tripping and falling, and being taken to a hospital or ER room. Your life is totally unpredictable now in comparison to life um, 60, 70 years prior, I would say, and it has ebbed this direction negatively more and more. That's my contention in how we term this whether you're going to say rights taken away or whatnot, I would say that's a phrase we use when we talk about whatever laws existing not being enforced or enforced too severely in terms of the punishment or enforced unequally. And again, what does enforcement mean if the punishment is draconian? Like a concentration camp labeled as a correctional facility. So my contention is things are totally upended in more and more in the last 60, 70 years. I'm reminded of um, Aldous Huxley. He wrote, amongst other things, Brave New World. That might have been in the 1950s. I'd have to check the exact date, but it strikes me that uh, this... Um, is a very interesting world we have now. And uh, I think the advent of certain chemicals coming on the scene in 1951, namely Thorazine and afterward, and overpopulation galore. Um, these issues, by the way, brought up by um, Aldous Huxley. And by the way, um, Napoleon Hill too, having written in 1941 a series of four, 17 pamphlets, and then these later coming out in uh, audiobook form, uh, How to Control Your Own Mind, he talks of uh, the ebbing away of rights. And again, I think uh, that term can be rather ambiguous and uh, a little off-center, but I think most people understand that something is not up to snuff here. These are my thoughts about the concept and how life is more and more unstable, I believe. And of course, the more frightened, the more unstable. How curious to simply label that an anxiety disorder when it's a social problem. And um, you might say, as one friend told me, um, a matter simply of also technology morphing into something more and more... Um, toxic in certain directions. So we have many social issues and many um, issues regarding the advent more and more of technology and overpopulation that I think we're calling quote mental illness or anxiety issues. I'm not at all surprised uh, the push by some to label this a brain problem. The tackling of this, like Arnold Schwarzenegger when governor of California attempted successfully in some ways to tackle crumbling infrastructure there with a huge rebuilding project uh, of sorts. I'm not surprised it's so much easier to label something an anxiety problem in some or mental illness rather than um, a non-application of Funds, time, energies, and emotional compromises, uncomfortableness to deal with these things more and more. Uh, thus, I'm not surprised there being books like uh, the title 
comes to mind, Criminalizing the Poor and Drugging the Poor. These are two titles of books that I own, by the way, haven't had time to look at. Of course, another interesting title of a book, Comfortably Numb, and perhaps I'm trying to remember the title, um, America Fooled. 